Right, here's, here's like a warning to uh, beginner harmonicas who want to make themselves sound better with uh, a mic, an amplifier, and pedals. So here's a, here's a warning that you don't have to take seriously unless you listen to what I'm saying and sort of go, yeah, I want to avoid that. Right, so, so you've been playing a bit, you've got, yeah, you've done things like that or something, you've probably played some, right? And you've, you've joined some groups about harmonicas now because you're really interested in harmonica. You love it, you're into it, and you've done some blues and you've bought some different keys and you've got some money in your back pocket and you want to burn it. Uh, right, so you got yourself an amplifier of some kind. You may have got yourself a mic, microphone. Um... But still, because maybe, just maybe, you kind of sound like this. No pedals, right? Yeah, or, or you're playing a lick. So you just basically or, or you're doing a lick, I don't know, let me make one up. You, let's say you've got to your blues scale now. And you're sort of doing that stuff, and you and you're thinking, well, I don't sound like those guys do. Yeah, I, I'm not. And you're kind of thinking, and you're doing that with some backing tracks. And let's say you're a puckerer as well. You're puckering, person puckering. And you're thinking, well, well, what's going on? So, so then you start thinking, I don't know, maybe you're missing something. So you go to a group, and they say, and you say, how do I, how do I sound more bluesier? I don't know. You join a group about pedals and stuff like. How do I sound more? And before people have said to you, are you tongue blocking? Are you puckering? Uh, do you know any techniques and all that? People are saying, and whatever, it's not wrong. People are saying, um, you know, this reverb, this feedback, this harp attack pedal, this, uh, you know, all sorts of things that they're talking about because they use all these things and they enjoy them and they make full use of them. Nothing wrong with all that. But they haven't really asked you, are you tongue blocking? Are you cupping? Uh, how's your cup? What's your cup like? What's your embouchure? How long have you been playing? And all that sort of thing, right? So now you've got these a, a list of answers that people have given you about what sort of pedals you can buy. And you might have even gone and watched a YouTube video, you know, guitar playing with with one of those pedals. So so let's say you've got this. <clears throat> Still got this bad throat. Okay, right, so I've got some pedals going on here. Right. So let's show. Um so you you decide you decide, right, you want something a bit sort of echoey. I just a bit. Oh. 
Now, is that what blues players sound like? It's, so, so basically, you still ain't no closer to a blues sound, are you? You know, people talking about noise killers, you know. So it's a noise killer on. <laughs> Well, well, it's still single notes. still single notes right and so there's your noise killer so what is it done for you you know you just spent 30 quid on that what's it done for you you know yeah this and force field force field switch it on <laughs> what's that done for you at this stage, you're playing single note. What's that? What's the difference? What it ain't made no difference, really. Yeah, it made it a bit louder, didn't it? Made it a bit louder. But by now, you spent 70 quid on these two, right? And you, you've wasted 30 quid. And but well, I've got a bit of like like reverb is squeal on my pig nose right so let me turn that up i'll turn that up so already the amplifier on its own the already the amplifier on its own is bringing me I guess closer because I just turn up. I uh, is it is it reverb? I don't know. On the pig nose, on the pig nose down there, it's called squeal, right? I I think it's like a reverb. It's, dist it's distortion. It's it's like distortion. So right, so you got clean single notes. And let's turn that distortion all the way up. Bit of feedback going on there because I'm sat close to. It's still, still not there. Yeah, there's some feedback. Uh, it's not feedback, distortion, it's type of distortion. And, but that's not so bad because I'm using, I'm using what the amp, what's built into the amp. So I'm not paying anything extra. So they, so this is the point. This is the point that I'm getting at, really. This is my point that I'm getting at, right? So, like, I'm not, I can't teach, I don't teach harmonica. I'm not a blues player. I don't stand on stage or anywhere like that and play blues. I'm talking purely to the beginner who is already getting into uh, taking an interest in the mic, the amplifier. They're on the merry way to the, uh, you know, they've got some licks down and some songs, like I said. But, but they... They're at that stage where they think something's missing and it's it's some sort of bluesy sound. Right. So like I'm gonna turn the enforce or uh, force field off, right? It's a TC electronic force field. I'm gonna turn that off. Everything's turned off now, right? Apart from the amplifier, um, which has a little bit of the squeal, which is probably distortion. What, what, right, what is distortion? So, distortion, like, like if I go, 
is clean. It's just a clean noise. But if I went like that, and behind it was like a bang, 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 like it's like this, re bang, bang, like that sort of thing. Sorry about that stupid uh, picture that I just did, but it's it's basically that's what it is. Instead of creating clean and clear, it's like like this sort of messy thing come behind it. And some people don't like that because it's it's murky, it's dirty, it's modified. So they would they would prefer it without. But I think blues players in general like a little bit of distortion. I've actually got it, probably got it turned up quite a lot. And if you've noticed. Every time I put the harmonica to my mouth, I've not been cupping it. The, and that's what I'm getting at too. You know, so you've, you're looking at buying something because you've not explored. Now, possibly, because I've heard people say, oh, how do I get that bluesy crunch? Now, I haven't really studied that this thing called crunch, but it might be because when and and I've seen people say in groups you need to tongue block to get it, or you need to create um, an alternative. I would I don't know how you do it at puckering, but that's me doing a chord and then closing in on a single note. You need to practice that sort of thing if that's what you want to do, but. Um, I'm a tongue blocker. See, so, so for instance, right? Like to make Amazing Grace sound bluesier. See, you do whole one, two, and three using the blues here. I'm just sort of make the point is right so there's videos on how to cup a harmonica there's videos on how to use distortion volume and gain and tone on your pre-existing amp if you've got a, if you've spent 150 pound 200 dollars on some on, a, on an amplifier and it's got your gain your tone um and some like overdrive or distortion on it. You've already got, right, in your possession and a half decent microphone, you've already got what's needed to get you on that journey. So I'm not saying that's all people need, that they shouldn't go anything any further that, and there's anything wrong with doing all this other stuff. Yeah? Like I've just... I, I don't know, um, you know, I've gifted some money, uh, I sold some stuff that I weren't using, and I bought this little rig that you, that you see there. Um, this would be, for the, for the amp that I've got right now, this would be the only thing that I'm really using, which basically... Uh, compresses, cleans, and boosts, and probably a lot more that I don't know about. Yeah, this force field, right? And I got a feeling it's the same as that uh, extreme driver. I've bought that because it kind of looks good, and I maybe read the the feedback, but I honestly don't even know what it is. I think that sort of does a bit like what that is. So I need to check and I'm probably going to sell that little thing. Um, you know, when I was messing around with 
uh, cheap guitar amps, the the noise killer. It's a gate, yeah, by uh, gate noise noise gate feedback gate stops the feedback on the amplifiers. But with this, I don't need it. With this amp, the pig nose, I don't need it. Um, if you want to have some fun, a looper is great fun. Great fun. But, you know, this chorus, for me personally, don't use it. Uh, the wave thing, me personally, I don't use it. I should sell them too, really, shouldn't I? should sell them both. Because I'm, I, I play octave split, so why do I... Do? The other thing is um, a pedal pedal right a pedal is mostly switched on or off unless you're quick at uh, switching on and off during a lick or something like that um, what the pedal does that my point is to anyone who don't know anything about these things is the pedal will change everything you do so let me give you an example. So the blue scale, uh, let's let's use this one for example, the wave. The wave. The wave. The wave. Yeah, it's like an echo. Right. Without it. <laughs> Because I'm tongue blocking, you're hearing some sound in between each note. <laughs> so you're hearing additional noises that a puckerer might not um, provide unless they do them intentionally. Anyway, getting back to this. <laughs> So let's say you can do the blue scale and you can play it cleanly, right? And you buy something like this, an echo pedal, reverb, wave, this is called. Yeah, amazing gauge. So it's not sort of going to make... It's uh, what, I'm, the, what I'm trying to say then is the minute you switch it on, it affects everything. It affects everything. So unless you're going to stand there and, and kick it on and kick it off for certain points because that's the, an effect that you want to create. It's, it, it's just, it's not... Right, so, so what... What creates some kind of bluesy effects? What do you need? What do you need to do? What do you need? What does one need? Um, well, some, some form of tongue block. A good cut. Uh, to find out about the settings, you know, where to put the gain, where to put the volume, what to do with this volume here in conjunction with that. Take time about that. This take time. I find right there's little changes that if I'm not taking notice, I don't hear them. So I've it's taken me time to notice little changes, and these little changes can kind of be quite big if you know what you're listening to. So I'm not teaching. I'm just saying this. These are the things that one needs to research instead of buying loads of pedals within the first three months of you playing harmonica, because you're using the word better. I want to play better. I want to sound better. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> so, so it's using the existing control knobs. It's uh, cut, getting a better cut. Look. Well, that's not so bad, is it? But. Alright, I'm tongue blocking. 
So it's all those things, the existing knobs, the cup in, I'm tongue blocking, which means it's it's a chord slap, chord slap, single note, chord slap, single note. And that might be what they're calling the bluesy crunch. Hear it in between each note. So if you're a beginner player, there's things you can do to get on your merry way towards tongue blocking. Uh, the other things might be... So a pedal cannot provide dirty notes. What I mean by that, well, it can, a distortion would give you what sounds like dirty note. But a pedal itself can't make, you know, unless you switch it on when it gets to hole four, and you gotta be quick then, yeah? It's just not what people do. What I'm saying is hole one, two, three, dirty note four, for instance, yeah? So it's a technique of playing it and then adding your own bit of dirty note. Two on this at the moment, it's doing my nut in, but I'm getting that, I'll get there with it. So they might be doing, so again, a, a pedal will not supply you with a, a trill, a, a warble. Um, that's maybe what the echo sort of does. Yeah, uh, and you ain't gonna spend 30 quid just to get that on the whole four. What's the point? There, so the wave, the echo, sounds a bit like a tremolo. So you're gonna spend 30 quid plus just to get a tremolo false. No, just practice, practice. a bit of this video and you've gone well I want to sound like that guy the thing is my point is right I'm a normal oh, scrap that right I'm, I'm average I meant I'm an average guy working man right I'm just having a bit of fun here I like to play Christian melodies Christian songs single notes octave splits harmonica on a rack with a guitar sometimes for my own pleasure, worship God through songs. Um, uh, I would, I, you know, I'm building a repertoire of bluesy songs so that I can uh, go out on the street, play Christian songs mixed in with some bluesy songs. That's where that's my aim. I'd love to be able to do that. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'd love to be able to stand in a pub, for instance, and and just play some bluesy songs. Mixed in with something a bit like Amazing Grace, bluesy, you know, that's my aim. That's my sort of level, yeah? Um, so if you're average Joe beginner, a bit like me, I'm just sort of saying, is is a little warning, you know, you could end up spending a lot of money. And especially if you're in these groups and that people are saying, yeah, this, this, I um, can't remember the names of them. But they're, they're harp specific pedals made for harps. 
you know, the on the on the labeling and customized designed built by a harmonica player. Well, that's going to cost more straight away. And I I've heard really good harmonica players say that pedal didn't do nothing for me. I didn't like it didn't enjoy it it didn't do nothing for me and that pedal i don't want to name it because it's it's pointless because it just he's just saying it didn't work for him no it didn't work it worked but he he wouldn't rate it he didn't enjoy using it and that's why sounding better be a, you know when when you might be just searching for something more bluesier and and that comes from that comes from technique and technique takes time I'm trying to play oh when the saints bluesy I can't even remember how to do it Feels not on now. helped someone not to buy loads of pedals for for the sake of it during the period of being a beginner <laughs> 